Hi hey guys, on the track again today, and right now we're a fox trap. And the tracks did go straight across here at one point, and in the way over there. But yeah, this whole intersection was redone about 10, 10 years ago or so. And the track here was completely destroyed. But uh, so now we're just on the fox trap. Now we're heading east, back toward St. John's again. And a few cows. And a hen or a rooster. And this is the only bridge that I've seen along the route there between uh, manuals and fox trap. I really can't get any pictures outside on because it's private property on both sides. He's got a house directly on the left here, but I won't put him in the frame. Anyways. And the track up here has been closed to ATB traffic. You've got multiple barriers up here in CBS. Big boulders such as these to keep the ATV traffic away. And rightly so. There's some of the ATV traffic coming through here. Apparently we're coming through quite fast. Not a whole lot to see on this section. Um, basically, because you're going through town, going through Manuel's and Fox Trap here, and uh, track key's pretty close to a few homes. So, not a whole lot in the way of anything recording or such. But I did notice on the track here that there was a few manholes. So they've been digging in this track and they've put a, uh, a pipe 
pipeline underneath this track. So I don't know if it's for a storm sewer or what. Anyways. Anything comes up, I'll get right back to you. Hi right, guys, <clears throat> wasn't much to see up on another section even though it was a three kilometer walk. So this is just an add on onto that piece of video. This is down past that intersection down closer to uh, Conception Bay. And figured I'd throw this in. Just to fill up, fill out the video. But uh, yeah. So anyway, keep uh, September 28th, 29th clear on your calendars, and because one of them days we are going to plan something for the 25th anniversary of the closure of the Newfoundland Railway. So. Keep that in the back of your book. Keep that in the back of your minds, as well as the uh, oh, December 13th, 14th, and 15th. That's the uh, celebrations they're doing out in Harbor Grace and Bay Roberts for the SS Coil. Looks like the track down here has been completely either rebuilt or something. <laughs> I believe the trestle is still intact here. Yes, I'm not sure what was going on here. The track is, like I said, either been rebuilt or it was washed out or they've got the uh, pipe running underneath it again. Like this is a fair. Quite possible, but. I don't know. Just, uh, looks kind of odd, this owl. Oh yeah, definitely. They were definitely burying something here. Go pipe there on the right or on the left, rather. Yeah, they're using the track bed and CBS for carrying uh, water lines, sewer lines, and stuff, storm source. Interesting. Hmm. The open spot here. Might have been a station here at one time, maybe. Looks pretty open, don't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've got the pipe installed under the track bed. Very interesting.
guard rails for posts. It's a fairly active place down here. CBS. Anyway, not the best episode that I've put out, but it is an episode nonetheless. And it's another whole section of the railway that is now completed. As of yesterday, I counted up all the, uh, the kilometers that I've after put together, that I've walked, and uh, something like 492 kilometers return trip. That's crazy. <laughs> down as far as here but you can tell see that the railway went straight across here basically right over where Napa is there now and kept going in behind there this is as far as I'll go from here but uh, yep it's definitely building up track bed is slowly disappearing So I expect. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see what the next episode does. Has for you on the next episode. Perhaps I might uh, go down to the Trapassi branch line. There's a small section. There's a small section by the Trapassi branch that uh, I want to finish in Kappa Hayden. So, we'll probably do that video, do that section next. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep walking. Keep walking the tracks, boys. All the best.
Yeah, guys, I like the little hat, little uh, badge. Newfoundland Railway. <laughs> Your buddy Kevin uh, gave me that badge there, uh, patch a few weeks ago. And yeah, so taking a little break here in the woods, as you can see, off the pat, off the track. And I got to say, uh, I had a very good summer this year. Done a lot of metal detecting and whatnot, and found some really good things. Um, now, September 29th, uh, 2013, uh, we're trying to put an event together on our uh, group, Newfoundland Railway, to our Newfoundland Railway Facebook group. And, uh, well, basically, September 30th, 2013, this year, marks the 25th anniversary of the closure of the Newfoundland Railway. And as of now, there's nothing seems to be planned as such that, that I'm aware of for this 25th anniversary. Um, so I was talking to a couple of people, and uh, there's a few people definitely interested in trying to put some put something together to recognize the 25th anniversary. So we're trying, we're planning on contacting the uh, Railway Coastal Museum down on Water Street in St. John's and uh, the town of Avondale as well and uh, see if they might be interested in putting something together or helping us put something together for that matter. So, yeah, nothing, you know, nothing on paper yet, but we're definitely trying to do something for September 29th. Uh, the 30th is on a Monday. And uh, anybody's working Monday is not usually a good day for a lot of people, including me. I'm starting a new job now this Monday coming, so I can very well last for our day off already. So we're going to plan this for on the weekend, September 29th. Uh, September 28th or September 29th, one of those two days we're going to plan this event for. And uh, we'll, I'll keep you updated as to uh, how it works out. But uh, keep, those, uh, keep those two days open for now, September 28th. September 29th and uh, we'll see what we can put together so we'll keep you informed on that also coming up uh, very soon uh, this year marks the 100th anniversary of the SS Kyle in Harbor Grace and uh, they're planning a whole pile of celebrations over in Harbor Grace and Bay Roberts um, for September 13th 14th and 15th and uh, I plan on being out in Harbor Grace on September 14th. Um, there's one lady who uh, swims out to the coil every year. Uh, I believe for the past it was five years or ten years. And she's doing it again this year. So I'm going to be out there doing some recording on the uh, when she's swimming out to the coil. It'll be pretty cool. Uh, like I say, it's the 100th, this is the 100th birthday of the SS Coil in Harbor Grace. And uh, if anybody knows or not but the SS Coil was also uh, owned by the Reed Newfoundland Company that owned the Newfoundland Railway so it was used by Reed Newfoundland Company for for a few years until she was sold and uh, she was docked in Harbor Grace and during a big old storm back in the 60s 1960s she broke all her moorings, moorings and she drifted into Riverhead where she's beached today she's uh, she's a ground there for ever since 1960-odd. So, anyway, this year marks the 100th birthday, 100th birthday of the SS Coil, and this year also marks the 25th anniversary of the closure of Newfoundland Railway. So I'll keep you updated on two of these events. I'm sure some of you may be interested in these. So, anyways, I'll uh, keep, keep tuned, guys. Keep tuned, and uh, we'll uh, see what we can come up with. All the best.